Okay, so we want to fill in the empty spaces to complete the puzzle. For this puzzle, any two rows, the first term multiplied by the second term should equal the third term. And for any column, the first term time, sorry, times the second term will equal the third term. So we want to fill in the blanks to figure out what, what all these terms are. So let's take a look here. Let's do the first one. We have 1 times x plus 7. So it, we can le multiply this as it is, but if you'd rather write it out, then definitely do that. Here we have 1 times x plus 7. And I know that we can distribute this 1. So it's 1 times x, which equals 1x, or just x. And we'll distribute this 1 times 7, and that is positive 7. So 1 times x plus 7 is x plus 7. Okay, let's see if we can figure out that second column. I'll change colors for this one. So the second column we're doing negative 2x plus 5 times 2. So I'm going to write this out. I'm going to say 2 times negative 2x plus 5. And again, we're going to distribute. We're going to do 2 times negative 2x. That gives us negative 4x. We do 2 times 5. That gives us positive 10. So... 2, negative 2x plus 5 times 2 is negative 4x plus 10. Okay, let's see if we can do this going downward. Now, if you want to write it out, you can, but if we do 1 times negative 2x plus 5, I, I know 1 times anything is itself. So this here is negative 2x plus 5. Okay, now let's see if we can do this one right here, we have 2 times x plus 7. So if we distribute this 2 to all the terms in x plus 7, that's 2 times x, which is 2x. And that's 2 times positive 7, so that's positive 14. So this is 2x plus 14. Okay, now we have this last one. Uh, so we can either do negative 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 14, or we can do x plus 7 times negative 4x plus 10. I am going to do, let's just do this one, x plus 7 times negative 4x plus 10. So I'm going to write this one out because we have two binomials. We have x plus 7 times negative 4x plus 10. So here we can distribute. So let's distribute. Uh, remember, we have a binomial times a binomial. So you can either do the box method, or you can do the distribution method. For this video, I'll do the distribution method. But if you prefer to use a box method, definitely go for it. So here we have x times negative 4x. So x times negative 4x is negative 4x to the second power. Then we do x times positive 10. x times positive 10 is plus 10x. Here we go, 7 times a negative 4x. That is negative 28x. And then we'll do 7 times 10. That gives us positive 70. Now, before we fill in this space, we want to make sure that it's in the most simplest form. So if there's any like terms, you're going to want to combine them. So if I look at these, I see positive 10x and negative 28x are like terms. So I can combine that. And here we have negative 4x to the second power minus positive 10 when I combine it with negative 28 is negative 18x plus 70. Okay. 
Now, I just want you guys to notice that since we multiplied these two values, plus 70, sorry. Okay, since we multiplied these two values to receive this, I also noticed that this is the same thing here. So if we multiplied this, it should have given us this as well. I'll, we'll do a quick multiplication here to see if that still applies. So we can take a look. We can do negative 2x plus 5, that's over here, times 2x plus 14. Now, negative 2x times 2x, that's negative 4x to the second power. Negative 2x times 14, that is negative 28x. Here we have 5 times 2x, that's positive 10x. And here we have 5 times 14, that is positive 70. Again, I see those like terms. So I, I'm going to highlight, you guys can circle on your screen, uh, the like terms there. So negative 28x and negative, make that negative show more. Negative 28x and positive 10x, if I combine that, I get negative 18x. And I break down everything else. Since they are not like terms, I cannot combine them, but I can write them in standard form. So negative 4x to the second power minus 18x plus 70.